My co-worker has gone missing and I think my boss has something to do with it. I work at a factory in the middle of a small town. Almost every high school student uses the job at the factory as their summer jobs. It's easy work honestly. We just move boxes from shipments that come in and take it to the delivery trucks so they can stack them. It pays really well too, so all of the teenagers working have money for movies, the carnival, drugs, you name it. I've been working there for the past two summers, and there has always been one worker there that gives me the creeps. He's a higher up one of the advisors perhaps. No one is really sure of his role in the factory. He seems important, and people certainly follow his orders. Once I could have sworn I saw him giving orders to who I thought was our boss, and even he obeyed. His name was Mark Wiseman. Me and my friend, Ashley, frequently gossiped about who he might be while we unloaded the trucks. Ashley was in my grade and she had just gotten the job this summer. Maybe he's a secret CEO that comes to check in every summer. Ashley suggested. I shook my head and turned to catch a glance at Mark. No, the bosses all know who he is and he orders them around. He isn't being secretive about the power he has over them. I commented. My eyes locked with Mark for a millisecond before I quickly darted them away. No one seemed to know anything about Mark, where he came from or who he was. He was probably in his late twenties and had the most sinister smirk when he talked. He'd only work summers as well, which I found odd. Whatever the case was with him, I chose to stay clear. Ashley and I were working together one day, and we noticed Mark was working on our truck with us. No problem, I thought. It's easy to avoid conversation in the factory. Just act like a stone cold bitch and people tend to leave you alone. Ashley, however, was too much of an extrovert and tended to feel awkward without conversation. So what's your plans for tonight? she initiated. I started to respond when I was cut off by a gruff yet chillingly charming voice. Nothing yet, who's asking? Mark looked up from the box he was unloading and winked at Ashley. She politely laughed and gave me the look that girls give each other when they're creeped out. She didn't say much after that. The following days, I noticed Mark tended to make his way to Ashley and I whether we were in the break room or unloading a truck, he would always meander his way into our area. Not obvious enough for us to say something to him about it, but enough for us to be uncomfortable with it. I even mentioned something to our boss about him, and all he said was, try to stay out of his way, don't answer too many of his questions, and don't let him get one of you alone. He said it like a joke, but I found this extremely concerning. In the days following my conversation with our boss, I noticed Mark started trying to separate me and Ashley. He would ask us to move to separate unloading trucks, or he would tell us that we talked too much and joke, maybe y'all should switch shifts. I was growing more and more nervous every time I went to work. What was his angle? If you wanted a date, wasn't it blatantly clear that we were underaged and not interested? Nevertheless, he persisted. One day. I clocked into work as usual and noticed Ashley wasn't there. I figured maybe she was running late and I would keep an eye out for her. However, an hour passed and I hadn't heard from her. Once we were on lunch break, I called her. Hey where are you? Don't you work today? I asked upon hearing her pick up. No, she said, confused. I was switched to night shifts this week. I have no idea why, but I'm assuming someone took off and they need extra help. I got a pit in my stomach. I began to realize Mark wasn't there either. Do you know who else is working? I inquired, trying to stay hopeful. Yeah, Blake, Michael, Mark, and Ryan. I wasn't liking this arrangement. Mark and Ashley together. I knew for a fact he had something to do with this. The night came and went. I called Ashley as soon as I knew she'd be getting off. Ashley picked up and told me about how Mark and her were unloading together. He had asked her how old she was and what her plans after college were. Simple things like that. I thought maybe now that he knew how old she was he would stop bothering her, but as the week progressed he seemed to talk to her even more. He was on shift with her every night that week. Friday night came, and it was the only night Ashley didn't answer my call. I tried not to worry too much. Nothing strange had happened in the days leading up and I thought maybe they were still unloading. I texted her to call me when she got off and explained that I was worried. Ashley texted back a few minutes later and said she would call me tomorrow, 
morning because she was so tired from work that night. I understood and went to bed. Saturday and Sunday came and went and I had no response from Ashley. I figured she had to sleep the week off. But when I got to work on Monday, she wasn't there. I checked the schedule and she wasn't scheduled at all of this week or the next. I was confused to say the least. I tried calling her. No response, but a text. I quit the job. It read. I tried to text her and call her, but she didn't respond to any of them. I grew more and more uneasy at the text. She wouldn't just quit like that. I even mentioned it to my boss, and at first he seemed genuinely confused. However, once, I explained my fear of Mark as well. He brushed it off. A lot of people just grow tired of the factory and quit. I'm sure she'll answer soon. The last part of the sentence seemed rushed, almost like he was saying it to get rid of me. After work, I finally checked my phone and saw I had a number of missed calls from my parents and Ashley's parents. She had never come home from work Friday night. I quickly scroll through our messages. How was that possible? She texted me this morning. My blood runs cold. I decide I need to tell Ashley's parents immediately in case something terrible has happened. I quickly walk to my car eager to get home. I usually park at the back entrance because the road connected leaves to my neighborhood. Once I get there, I see Mark pulling out one of the delivery trucks. I thought of how strange that was considering he was an unloader. We locked eyes for a brief moment and I glared daggers into him. I instantly suspected him of something vile that had to do with Ashley. He smirks and winks at me as he pulls away. I felt shivers go down my entire body. Delivery trucks don't usually go out until Friday. What was in the back of that delivery truck? 